Welcome everyone. I'm Laura Shu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video at laurashu.com. In this video, I'll show you the new display options that are available for albums or collections that you're sharing with people from Lightroom Classic CC or from the cloud-based Lightroom CC. We can now split our album up into sections with section titles. We have three different themes to choose from in terms of how these thumbnails are displayed. We can change the background color and more. This formatting takes place out on Lightroom Web. I'll go to a new tab and I'll go to lightroom.adobe.com. This is the website where you can import, edit, and share your photos all from a web browser. This is great if you're traveling and you don't have your own computer with you with Lightroom on it. You can use anybody's web browser signing in to lightroom.adobe.com. Regardless, this is where we can format our shared albums. I'll choose an album. This is a collection that I've synced from Lightroom Classic and I'll click on the display tab. The way it starts out is the format that we've had available for quite some time. To change the title of the album, I could click on the pencil here and edit it. Let's take a look at the different themes. This second thumbnail version has a little bit of a different layout here. And then this single photo version has just one column of photos and it displays the photo captions. You can enter photo captions in Lightroom Classic in the metadata panel or in Lightroom CC on the keyword tab or you can go to Photos here on Lightroom Web, select your photo, click on the Information icon, and Add Captions. Now remember, all the work you do here on Lightroom Web will sync back to Lightroom Classic or Lightroom CC. I'll close this. Let's go back to Display. I'll go back to this first theme. We can have a white background or a black background Let's take a look at additional options. We can choose not to display the title. I can change the author here to just be Laura Shu, And then I can use whatever photo I've set to be the cover photo as the background for the gallery. Or if I click on this dropdown, I could change it instead to be the hero shot. Let's collapse this by clicking on the downward triangle. You can see that that appears at the very top of the web page, even before the title. I think I'll leave that there. We can also now filter to just show our friends and clients photos that we've picked with the pick flag or photos that have three or more stars, for example. I'll click back on three or more to turn that off. And then I'll collapse this panel. I'll scroll down here. Now let's talk about sections. If I want my first section title to be right here at the top, I'll click on the Edit button. I'll call this Puppy Days. I almost didn't notice that you can also add a smaller subtitle here. You can do that with any of the sections. Click on Done. To add another section, just hover between the two photos where you want to split into a second section and give that second one a title. You can drag photos from one section to another. And of course, you can scroll down and create more sections. You can also remove photos while you're in this view. Now, I'm not sure what happened, but I just jumped from the Display tab to the Photos tab by accident. If you suddenly see this more compressed grid, just click back on Display. I'll scroll down here and I'll remove this one. To remove it, I won't click on it. That just goes to Loop View. I'll click on the X. Instead, I'll click on the check mark. Then I get the options here to set as cover. So that's how you'd set a photo to be the cover so that it shows at the top of your album or in the background. Or you can remove the photo from the album, delete it completely, copy or move it to another album, etc. But I wanted to just remove it 
from this shared album. I'll click on Remove. That's a little disorienting. It just jumped back to the top of the album. To see what this looks like out on the web, let's click on Sharing, and I'll click on the link. And here we've got my completed album. So whether you're an amateur photographer and you've just traveled to 10 cities and want to have different sections for the different cities, or you're a professional wedding photographer, for example, and want to have sections for the stages of the wedding day, these new options are a really nice enhancement, in my opinion. Now when you're done formatting and you want to share this album with people, copy the link to the clipboard and then paste it into an email with the shortcut Control v as in Victor on PC or Command-V on Mac, or share it directly to Facebook or Twitter. This option allows you to embed this album into a page on your website. Now, I'm tempted to go off and explain all kinds of things, but my goal really was to talk about just the new display options. If you've enjoyed this video and you're on YouTube, please show your support by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Check out my blog at laurashu.com and subscribe to my newsletter to hear about my latest tutorials and tips. I'm Laura Shu.